Hello again, St. John's family and friends. This is Pastor Brady, and this is our Wednesday midweek devotion and prayer time together for Wednesday, November 18th, 2020. You know, we're only about a week away now from Thanksgiving Day. And this Sunday in church, whether you're gathering here with us or the many more that are watching online, we will be celebrating Thanksgiving Sunday. We will talk a lot about the abundance of the things that God gives us, the bounty that is before us, and we will talk a lot about what we need to do to show our gratitude to God and to live a life and an attitude of gratitude day by day. Because our world needs more of us to live like that, more of us to be kind and to give thanks and to do the good work of God. You know, this has been a troubling year, and many out there are probably thinking, what should we be thankful for? Well, there's so much to be thankful for. Yes, there's a pandemic. Yes, it, it, it seems to be getting worse right now. We don't even know what the Advent season in the life of the church is going to look like. We don't know what things may close or not be available, and we know so many have been unable to attend church for months. So many have felt disconnected. But we've tried to do a good job of staying together with the Holy Spirit. And we should be thankful every day when we wake up that we have the Holy Spirit, that we have that connection to God and to one another. We should be thankful for the many gifts God has given us. So much bounty, living in the land of the free and the brave. So many things to be thankful for. Things we should be thankful for, whether we can enter the gates and the doors of the church, or whether we have to watch from home and join together in other ways in which we are social distanced. We still have those relationships. We still have that love. We still have the Holy Spirit. We have so much to be thankful for as we approach this Thanksgiving Sunday and then next week when we celebrate Thanksgiving together and then when we start the Advent season together on the 29th. So, Today, I want to look to a psalm that many of you will recognize, and, and you'll see some of the words if you can see the banner behind me right now that hangs in the one corner of the sanctuary. It's the 100th Psalm. So listen to these words and think about what it means to give thanks to God. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us. We are his. We are the people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Are we thankful? And not only do we say thanks or give thanks, maybe before a meal or maybe in a prayer at home or if we're coming to church, but do we live that thankfulness day by day? Are we devoted in our faith to God and to bringing God's love and grace, the grace of Jesus Christ, to all of our brothers and sisters, because that's living out our thankfulness. That's living out our gratitude. That's taking hold of the abundance that God has given us and using it for the good and for the righteous purpose that God has intended for all of his people. You know, I know a lot of you right now are living into the uncertainty and living into the fear, into the doubts. And I think we all are to some extent. We don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. We want this disease, this virus to be gone. We want these wounds of division in our nation to be healed. But if we're just going to sit still and not take action and not live into that abundance and not live with an attitude of gratitude, how do we expect the world to change? You know, when we enter the church, we 
intend to sing those joyful songs, joyful praises to the Lord that the 100th Psalm tells us to do. And hopefully we experience that together when we go to church in person or online. And when we enter the church, when we enter the presence of God, you know, we give thanks to the Lord and praise. But are we doing it in our daily lives? And with less people able to come to church, with maybe the ability now to, to kind of separate yourself from your church family, from, you know, not being there as much, it is easy for us to get complacent. It's easy for us to walk away from that faithfulness. It's easy for us to feel less thankful to God. And it's certainly easier for us to carry on with an attitude which is not filled with gratitude, but an attitude that is filled with despair and maybe hopelessness. You know, an attitude where we start rejecting our faith and rejecting God. So it's time that we double down on our faith. It's time that we enter his courts with thanksgiving. We enter his gates with praise, that we come before the Lord, not just in a church setting and not just this Thanksgiving day, but every day of our lives and start living with that attitude of gratitude. Start praising him more and more and not just the praise, but living out the gifts. Because we all have those gifts. We talked about talents a lot last week and this past Sunday. What gifts have you been given? And what kind of attitude do you have to make sure that those gifts are put to the will and the purpose of a Lord that loves you so much? You know, we may think that there's less to be thankful for this Thanksgiving, but the one thing that always remains is that God brought Jesus in this world to die upon a cross so that you can live and so that your sins will not take you to death, but that they will be washed away and you may be living in glory with your heavenly Father. Jesus died for you. We don't need anything else. That's all we need. We should be thankful and giving praise and our hearts should be filled with joy every day that gratitude should be seen by all. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, we are thankful for your word from the 100th Psalm, the words that speak to us about being joyful in our praise and thankfulness to you, that when we come into your presence, and we know your presence just isn't in the church building, it's wherever we may be, wherever we may gather, wherever we are connected by the Holy Spirit, that we need to do so with thankfulness, with praise, with gratitude, and living out that attitude of gratitude day by day. So Lord, as we enter this next week where we will celebrate Thanksgiving Sunday and then we look to that Thanksgiving day, we know that the meal may be different this year. We know that we may not be with our families, our extended families, you know, but we still have so much to be thankful for. So Lord, our prayer today is that we live into that thankful attitude. However the Thanksgiving meal looks this year, whatever the next month and the Advent season bring, we know you are with us. So Lord, today we recommit ourselves to living lives of gratitude unto you. Empower us to do so through your mighty spirit, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, as we head towards this Thanksgiving weekend, it, and it is, you know, this weekend where we're going to have Thanksgiving Sunday, and then next week where we have Thanksgiving Day, and then the shopping begins, and the Advent season begins that Sunday. Things start picking up, and they're going to be different this year. But we know God is with us. So let us recommit ourselves to being thankful unto him. Let us enter his courts with praise. And let us show that praise and that thanksgiving to all of our brothers and sisters, especially those out there that feel so lost in this world, even though we may not be able to do it by gathering together face to face. We have the technology and the ability to connect to one another, and we're always connected by the Holy Spirit. And I know we will be until we meet again. 
So I hope you'll join me on Friday for our announcement and inspiration time together. And until then, may God bless you all. Amen.